A Queens man attacked by a gang of young men is at home recovering tonight. It happened near 90th Street and 37th Avenue in Jackson Heights and was all captured on surveillance video. CBS News' Corey James joins us live at the scene. He spoke with the victim who says he was assaulted for no reason. Corey. Yeah, Jessica, that man says that he was walking down this sidewalk here after a long day of work when one of the suspects approached him. And he says before he knew it, he was on the ground getting beaten by at least seven young men who were caught on these cameras. It is horrifying to watch the suspect stomping, kicking, and leaving 40 year old Ronaldo Marcelino unconscious on the ground. My head. Marcelino showed us the bruises and cuts on his body from the attack that happened last Saturday at 2.30 in the morning. While he doesn't know why he was targeted, he says the suspect stole from him. Take my, my, my money, my cell phone. The victim's niece did not want to go on camera, but says for days their family did not know where Marcelino was, only to find out midweek he was at Elmhurst Hospital in critical condition. I teared up. I'm not going to lie. Um, I feel a lot of rage. It just hurts a lot to see someone I know in so much pain. NYPD releasing photos of the suspects, seven young men believed to be between the ages of 16 to 20. Oh, no. Video appears to show one they of the beat him? Well, they had to be in jail. No? They had to pay for what they do. This is not good. Hopefully they get locked up. That's what they deserve. That's what police are hoping you can help them do by identifying the violent bandits who they say carried out this assault. I want justice for my uncle. And Marcelino spent about six days in the hospital with a head injury. The good news is he is expected to be okay. We're live in Jackson Heights, Queens. Corey James, CBS 2 News. All right, Corey, thank you.